In today's video, I'll be showing you a few different things that you can do to hopefully resolve the black screen or blank screen issue you're facing in MotoGP 2022 on your Windows computer. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is just ensure that Windows is up to date. And to do this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon, go to settings, select update and security, and then ensure you have Windows update selected and then click on check for updates. If Windows does detect any new updates, it would then download and install them. Once this is finished, restart your computer, launch the game and see if that resolved the problem. If it didn't, then the next thing that you need to do is ensure that you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. If you don't have the latest driver, then this is probably gonna be the likely cause of your issue. If you're not sure what graphics card you have in your computer, you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon, going to device manager, expand in display adapters, and as you can see, I have an Nvidia and I've got a GTX 1660 Super. So I'd need to go to the Nvidia website and download the driver for a 1660 Super. I will pop the links in the description below to AMD, Nvidia, and Intel. If you already have the latest driver installed for your graphics card, then the next thing to do would be to install a previous driver, just in case it is an issue with the latest driver. So go to the manufacturer's website for your graphics card. Like I said, the links are in the description below and download an older driver. So once you've done all that, and if that didn't resolve the problems you're having with a black or blank screen in MotoGP, then the next thing that you need to do is update DirectX. So you now need to click on the link that's in the description below. You will then end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to scroll down and select your language and then go download. Once the file has finished downloading, go ahead and run the setup file. You now need to agree to the terms. If you do agree, select I accept and then go next. You can now choose if you'd like to install the bean bar. I don't want to, and then go next. And it will now check to see if you do have the latest DirectX files on your computer. If you don't, then it will begin to download and install them. As you can see, I do have the latest version of DirectX, so that's all good for my computer. If yours did detect a new DirectX version, let it install, restart your computer, and then launch the game and hopefully that would have resolved the issue for you. If that didn't help, then the next thing that you need to do is open up the start menu and type in disk and then clean up. You now need to select disk clean up and then select your C drive and press okay. You now need to select DirectX shader cache and then just select anything else that you would like to delete. Once you've done that, go ahead and press okay and then delete files. Allow this to run and once it's finished, go ahead again and launch the game and see if that helped. If that didn't help, then the next thing that you need to do is right click on your desktop and you then need to go to the display settings. You now need to scroll down and change your display resolution. If you're using a really high resolution, then this could be causing the issues with the game. So select the drop down and select 1920 by 1080 or if you're already using that, then select something else like 1280 by 960, or just whatever looks right on your display. Once you've done that, go ahead and launch the game, and hopefully that would have helped. If it didn't, the next thing that you need to do is stay in this area. You then need to scroll down and select Advanced Display Settings. You then need to scroll down, and you now need to change the refresh rate. If you're using a really high refresh rate, then lower it down to 60 or something even lower. So I know the game works on 60 on my computer, but if it's not working on 60 Hertz on yours, lower it down to 50 and then see if that helped. If changing the refresh rate didn't help, then the next thing that you need to do is open up File Explorer and you now need to click into the address bar at the top and just do the percentage symbol and type in local, app, and then data, and then the percentage symbol again and press enter. You now need to scroll down until you find Motor GP22 folder and open up this folder. You then need to go into the save folder, config, and then Windows No Editor. You now need to right click on game user settings and go rename. 
and you're now just going to add back up to the end of this file. Now go ahead and launch the game and see if that helped. Basically, this is going to reset your in-game settings. So if you did change a setting by accident that created the black screen or blank screen, then this is going to refresh everything and hopefully resolve the issue. If it didn't fix the issue, then you can always rename this file back and just delete the new file that got created. So once you've done all that, and if that didn't help, then the next thing that you need to do is try a new display cable. The cable that you're using might be a little bit faulty or becoming faulty and causing the issue. If you don't have a spare cable lying around, then you could always try plugging the cable into different ports on your graphics card and display if you do have the option. If the issue is not the cable, then the next thing to try is just ensuring that you are on the correct source on your monitor. I know it does sound a bit silly, but when you launch the game, the display source could have changed without you knowing, so just have a double check just to ensure it's still on the correct source for your computer. So once you've done all of that, and if none of those methods worked, then the next thing to do would be to remove any overclock settings if you have applied any to your graphics card. If you haven't, then you might have to wait until a new update is released for the game or try reinstalling the game to your computer. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click on the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click on that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.